Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Comrade Zero Spy back again once again. And today, people said day we're here for Avatar Sentai Dawn Brothers episode 35. And we got a lot of bestial uh, focus in this episode as well. A lot of bestial focus, a lot of who Miho or who Miho or Natsumi really freaking is. Also, the the cop, the like the cops and these uh law these different these law enforcement guys know what bestials are i'm assuming i'm assuming that they're um i'm assuming they're anoni i don't know we see we, we we've barely seen any anoni in a while now like they haven't really fought any anoni they have really just been fighting uh the hitotsuki like the hitotsuki by itself like we really haven't seen that many anoni in a while and i kind of forgot that anoni kind of like just pose as like as like citizens really because i kind of forgot like because we barely see them like we barely really see a noni like that and i kind of forgot about the dudes like i really did and they're, they're not even evil really like they're not even evil they just like it just seems like they're just like just here you know it just, like, just they seem like they're just like this race of creatures that just live in regular lives because they seem like they're just doing regular regular stuff it's like a noni like are the grunts that really just fight whenever i guess like the only reason they fight with the hitotsuki is because maybe the hitotsuki is like controlling them or something and like hitotsuki's like don't eat like don't eat anoni or destroy anoni in any type of way so it's like yeah like i kind of like i just like, i feel bad when like an anoni is getting ready to be eaten or whatever especially by the freaking bestials because these guys are like pure evil like these things <laughs> even though we know that they're an experiment they're an experiment gone wrong it seems it's still like they're just like these things are evil they're like but but we'll get to it we'll get to it but this episode basically starts off with uh we start off with the main crew and the group, main crew in the cafe no kaito in this episode at all. i guess like he you know we had a lot of kaito going on for a while now and i guess he just like he back he, he back in the background he back in the background again because yeah he got to charge up for his next you know the three episode three episode thing going on when he's like around for three episodes but we say that Kijino kind of goes off on everybody in the cafe because he still peed off about what uh, Subasa did with Miho slash Natsumi and and got him put in jail and stuff like that. We also saw that uh, uh, Haruka's aunt is interrogating um, Subasa while he's being while, while like while he's in while he's in a slammer, and uh, turns out we the the cops ants actually know about what the bestials actually are. And they think that uh, not then they found it. They basically have come to that realization because uh, Haruka's aunt had was captured by cat uh, was captured. Uh, well, got well not really captured, but she well yeah she was kidnapped by the Anoni. But you know she was involved with some of the bestial things that were going on, and all those Anoni got end up getting eaten. So uh, we see that uh, they want they want though they basically well. Tsubasa's name is basically being cleared because they, he's only, he's a fugitive because the uh, people think that he possibly killed Natsumi way back then when they were not that, when, when they were on that trip and people think that, oh, that she's missing because of you because you were the last person she was with and the last person she saw. So they all chalked it up to like, okay, well, you had to obviously do something to her. So now that they, now that, you know, he, and he, not actual Natsumi is back. And they ended up telling him, they ended up tell, he ended up telling them that, hey, we're living together again. Just go to my apartment. She's there. And they were actually able to confirm that she is alive and well. And so they go back to him and tell him that, yeah, like you, um, you good, but we have to tell, but we'll, we'll get rid of all your charges and everything. If you just, if you can help us find out if Natsumi is a, uh, bestial or not. So he openly agrees to it. Um. Uh, you know, he agrees to, um, you know, watching her see, make sure she's not a, a, a beast or anything like that. So we did say that Natsumi was out walking around and we see that Kijino, uh, he's back. He comes and sees her after he kind of goes all, he kind of like snaps on everybody in the, uh, cafe. He tells, uh, Haruka, like, Hey, you, you want to, you want to make good, uh, manga and stuff like that and stop, you know, you know, stop uh, procrastinating about it. He was like, uh, he told Blue that he was like, you know, if you, he said, like, how could you possibly sit there and, and, and sit here and eat stuff in the freaking cafe and not pay for it? That's not how the world works. And then he told, um, he told Toto that he's like, yeah, he's like, you're not, he's like, well, you're always screaming and barking orders and stuff like that. You're not always right. And he's like, oh man, 
And it seemed like it really didn't affect, I don't think it really affected Tato like that because it's freaking Tato. But everybody else was like, oh man, that kind of hurt me. So uh, we see that Kijino, you know, he ends up seeing Natsumi in public again. And he starts to talk to her, whatever, screaming at her, saying, Miho, come back to me, stuff like that. When she's like, I'm not Miho, like, who is that? And then like, he starts to basically like hold on to her. So he ends up getting arrested and ends up getting put in the same cell as um, uh, Subasa. So he talks to Subasa. And he's basically telling him that you know he's like, I didn't do this for the money and stuff like that. I don't care. I didn't get no. Re I didn't get the reward for that. He said, Oh well, he said, I know how you feel, man. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just trying to get you to know. But Miho does not exist. And he's like, No, she does and stuff like that. He just start fighting each other in the freaking cell. Uh, Kijino gets pulled out of the cell. <laughs> Kijino gets uh basically they basically get him getting separated and stuff like that. So I guess Ki so uh they basically get put into two separate cells. So. We see that uh, this, we have this one, uh, we see that Rumi, uh, yeah, Rumi Jiru's uh, girl, or, or, you know, uh, best friend from back home, she comes to come visit him and she sees that he's very, very sick. He, we still see that uh, Jiru is still suffering from fighting um, Don Murasame. We also saw that Sonoza found uh, Murasame. Uh, saying that old oh, Murasame was weakened, uh, he must have fought something. So we see that he kind of bandages, uh, he uses the manga pages to bandage him all the way back up again. So Sonoza still has uh, Murasame or Murasame's sword form. So we go back to we have this random dude, this random guy who is trying to figure out what youth is. He's a young guy, but he spent he spent majority of his life studying and hasn't really been like a kid. He hasn't really gotten to be a kid. So he sees this and he's like wondering what is youth, what is youth for, what is all this, and he transforms. He ends up turning into uh, he ends up transforming into a Hitotsuki. He um, we see this little rampage and he runs to and we see Tato. Uh, he's fixing. He's you know, he's at work stuff like that, packing up these packages. He's the guy. Is like sitting in the back of his freaking van and he's like the dude's he's like hey what is youth and the, the title to kind of grabs him pushes him out the way and he says that hey if you were worried about he's like tell me what youth is he was like hey if you were to if you were you know just focused on stuff that needs to be doing that you won't be focused on nonsense like that and the guy get the he the, he ends up walking away but he ends up you know transforming back into hitotsuki and that's when title title's like oh man dang it and he, he and he runs after him so he runs after uh he's running after the hitotsuki but we did see that natsumi and um subasa are, like having fun and all this stuff together eating together stuff like that and he cook he, uh, he cooks her food and stuff like that and they have a whole night together and he ends up um yeah we see that she ends up uh she when he wakes up she's gone and when she's gone, there's a uh, origami crane sitting on the table. He's like, ah, oh, this can't be true. So he runs out of there. So when the uh, Hitotsuki attacks, they, he ends up transforming into uh, his Hitotsuki form. Everybody ends up getting ready to fight this guy. And we see that from, from the dialogue. We saw that uh, Kijino was still in jail. <laughs> Kijino was still in jail. He's like, hey, I got out. He's like, oh, man. And then we see that uh, Tsubasa's like, I'm in the middle of something right now. So let's wrap this up. And Tato's like, hey, man, I'm the one. He's like, hey, man, I'm in charge. I break the rules. <laughs> so they get, they end up uh, fighting out, fighting the Hitotsuki. But he has this uh, ability where he sl he um, he slows you down and it makes you feel good. And um, after, a but after a second, everything just blows up. So, yeah. So we see that Tato transforms into Golden Momotaro. And he also tra uh, also does a, like, a, he changes things. Well, I forgot that he could do this. It's still like, you know, but he transforms into, um, while he's in his golden form, he transforms into uh, Red Tok uh, Tokujin Red. He transforms into him and he starts fighting the Hitotsuki for a while. But he's not even in that form for like five. Like he's not even in that form for a minute. Uh, he's only using the sword. He's only, he's only using the Tokujin uh, sword. He's dual wielding. And he transforms back into his regular golden form and does his ultimate. But we see that Jiru uh, is trying to get there. But he can't get there <laughs> because Rumi stops him and, you know, Rumi stops him with her scent, I guess. And he tries to get there, but he, uh, we see that Jiru can't do any fighting up for it, you know. Yeah. So we see that uh, after he uses his ultimate attack on the Hitotsuki, they end up destroying the Hitotsuki. Then we get our mech battle. We uh, we have Golden Onitaijin, uh, still really cool really cool mech rap by the way ends up destroying him ends up defeating him up you know defeating him and basically everybody kind of goes back to where they were before we see that um 
And we see that uh, Subasa is walking. He see in he sees Natsumi. Uh, she's doing like some Shakespeare type stuff going on and then he leaves for a second he comes back and She's eating an Anoni. She's eating. She's like basically like eating this person What like they, this this basically sucks in people like a black hole. That's how they eat other That's how they eat Anonis. He looks he takes his glasses out. He finds like oh man She's an Anoni, but oh man, I skipped a part. I am so sorry uh, We get to see that Jin uh, we see that um, Tsubasa goes and talks to Jin and he says that uh, he asks him what the beasts technically are, and we find out that uh, the cell that Jin is in used to be a gateway for the beasts to come through. <clears throat> but the reason why Jin is in here because he's being punished for raising Don Motato. He's he's be, he's being punished for raising um, Momotaro or Tato. Like he's being punished for that, so that's why he's basically in there. So. He ends up, so we get to see that the Natsumi is eating this uh, Anoni, and that's when the other bestial, the other bestial, the guy who, the one who's being portrayed as the cop, he comes in, pushes pushes Natsumi in the way, pushes Natsumi out of the way, and he starts trying to eat the Anoni, and then that's when, and that's when uh, he sees Natsumi and she runs off, uh, well flies off technically because she's the crane, so he runs over and tries to save this Anoni, but she ends up getting eaten and uh he also ends up getting pulled into the portal where the uh beastos are so he, he wakes up in this like dark forest and he uh he sees the same anoni girl who was there who got eaten but then turns out she gets eaten again i'm like how does that work she gets split in two and then she gets eaten again by two other beastos the cat beastos we see two of them and that's where they but he's like, oh, this is what they really look like. So he runs and he sees that uh, he's walking through this forest. And we see a bunch of origami cats that are alive. I'm like, what fever dream is this? It was so creepy. And then you got like uh, these people, these voices harmonizing in the background. It was so weird. It was this weird dream. It looked like this weird fever dream thing going on. So we see that um, he starts seeing he starts these people. He sees people all in inside of this, uh, all like hanging uh, in the trees on the vines, and he sees like all these people. And he sees the cop guy. I guess that's his yes, the real dude. That's the real him. And um, I guess all these people are uh, that are inside these trees are the original people, and the bestials are out there impersonating these people so these people don't die apparently these people don't die the uh, they just capture the people and change them change into them and come back i guess they feed off these people as well seeing how these trees actually are but um you see that subasa tries to save natsumi because the real natsumi is in there he tries to save her but then he gets caught up in these vines and then a bestial comes up and stuffs a cat origami thing down his throat and makes him swallow it and then uh he scans his body he scans not he scans subasa's body and transforms into subasa and then subasa basically passes out he's like they're all stuck in like this coma stasis you know while they're all stuck in these trees so we see that, that the bestial Tsubasa is basically running around and doing all the stuff that the other bestial guys were doing, going to restaurants and eating stuff and beating up people and stuff and making origami. But yeah, the uh, episode basically ends off right there. We're going to see the, uh, we're going to basically, we're going to see Tsubasa come back. I don't know how they're going to go off and save him because they still don't know who he is. But uh, we see that he's going to come back and we see that um, they're going to have to fight uh, bestial Subasa, which is probably going to be kind of hard for Tato because he thinks that if you kill the bestial while it's possessing that person, then you know that person like dies. Well, maybe they do because like it stops a because that origami that it's, it makes you swallow probably it makes you linked to each other and it copies you. So maybe if they do destroy the bestial, then Subasa will like you know, Subasa will die then because you know we're kind of linked now. So but other than that, like, I'm ready for next week. I'm ready for this next episode. And I'm so ready for this final reveal of who the freak Black is. Like, they need to hurry up and let Subasa know who the other Don brothers are and who he, like, and they need to know who he is and all this stuff. I mean, it's just, it's just getting on my nerves at this point. But we end up seeing that, um, but yeah, man, this was a, this was a funny episode. Also, the whole thing about Jin being 
uh, punished for raising Tato. Like, I don't know why. Like, I hope we get answers to that. Like, why are you being punished for raising him? You know, he was he was a baby, you know, like, and you found him. So it's like, why would you not like, why, why are you mad? <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe Tato is supposed to be like you know this ki- this prince or something like that that was supposed to stay in the kingdom and so whatever. But like other than that, like why is Jim being punished for raising Tato? Um, but yeah, but other than that, guys, you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of episode thirty five of Avatar Sentai Dawn Brothers. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. And remember, stay kinchined.